Now we're going to use the values that we found in the first part of the problem to verify that they satisfy the uncertainty principle. So we're going to go ahead and start with the uncertainty or the standard deviation in the expectation value of an x for the ground state of the simple harmonic oscillator. It's going to begin with the difference between these two values here. And so we can go ahead and substitute our values in that we found from the first part of the problem. As you know, this one here was zero, and this value was h bar over 2m omega. A fairly trivial equation to solve here, or a math problem. That's going to be our value for the uncertainty of x for the ground state. Now we're going to move on to the uncertainty for the momentum for the ground state, of course. This is an analogous value here. Substitute our values in that we got from the previous part of the problem. Again, relatively easy math problem to solve. Now we're going to check the uncertainty principle, which says that the uncertainty between the two must be greater than h bar over 2, greater than or equal to. And so we can represent that by this relation here, where we can easily, so we just have to make sure that this value is greater than or equal to this value here. So using our values that we had from uh, the previous part of the problems and the ones that we just determined, go and scroll this up here and input our values in h bar all under square root now we go ahead and cancel out our like terms m omega m omega of course we just meet the uncertainty principle here now moving on to the second uh, the first excited state of the ground state or the, the first excited state of the simple harmonic oscillator, calculating for the uncertainty in x, or the uncertainty in position. We'll go ahead and throw our values in that we found again from the first part of this problem. Yet again, relatively easy math problem here with the two. Now we'll go ahead and throw in for the momentum uncertainty. Scroll up a little bit. Inputting our values again from the first part of the problem. Math happens. Okay, let's go ahead and check that uncertainty principle. I think we all have a feeling that this is actually going to work, or else we're going to be in big trouble. And we'll go ahead and input our values. And cancel out our like terms, m omega, m omega. Looks like a 3 times h bar over 2 pops out. And that, of course, satisfies the uncertainty principle.